Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Beowulf with Beowulf's Treasure. And uh, I thought we'd have another penny hunt today. I got a call from my bank the other day and they said, we have extra, do you need any more? So I got six more boxes. Or I have six boxes total. Anyway, so it's a good time to hunt a few more pennies. And we still have an album to fill. Remember we're still missing that 1982 Denver copper coated zinc small date. And we're also still looking to upgrade the professional years 2009 Denver. So we still got a couple coins we want to get for our collection and finish those books up. But outside of that, I think we're still going to have a fun hunt because we're still looking for some wheat pennies. Maybe I might even find my first ever Indian head penny. We don't know. But we're definitely going to be searching for a number of varieties. And uh, I got the scope set up so I can share with you anything you might find. Anyway, I'll start cracking open some of these rolls. See if I can find anything fun. They are definitely circulated, so lots of opportunities. Anyway, I'll get to hunting, and I'll bring you back in when I find something fun. Okay, guys, we have our first find. Actually, in the first roll, we found the uh, little Canadian from 1979. But I didn't worry about filming it then, because it was just a little Canadian and nothing special. But I'm bringing you in, because we have our first wheat scent here on roll number three. And it's just the 1957 out of Denver. Let's check for any uh, repunishment marks or anything crazy on it. But yeah, all I'm seeing is a little mint damage. Nothing crazy. Or post mint damage, not mint damage. Anyway, still a great find to start the box. Still happy to have it. Let's see what else we can find. I'll bring you back in if there's anything fun. Well, guys, we fit roll number 13. And just a few coins in, we finally found. Our second wheat set. This is exactly how I found it. I have not changed it. I don't know what we got yet. Figured we'd find out together. There's some wear on it, so it might be a little older. I'm calling 40s. Right in the middle of 1945. Yeah, pretty common. This is a little beat up compared to some of the other 45s we found, but still happy to have it. All right, I'm gonna keep hunting, see if we can find a few more. I'll let you know when we do. Well, we're now on roll 15, so not too long after our last one. And we have found our third wheat scent. This one is a 1951 out of Denver. I don't see anything crazy. Don't see any RPMs or anything like that. So, overall, still not a bad wheat scent to have. Definitely one to add to our collection, which is always welcome. Anyway, I'm going to keep hunting, see if we can find anything else. Alrighty. We are on roll number 21, and we have another wheat set. Okay, this will be number four for our box. We got it sitting here reverse facing. This one is another 1957 Denver. Can't get mad at that. Makes two of those for the hunt. Still happy to have them. All right, let's keep going. See what else we can find. Well, now we're on roll number 25. And we found another one. This one was also reverse facing. It's looking a little older. And this is a 1942 out of Philly with a lot of uh, wear on it for 42. But still. Kind of has a bit of look to it. I kind of like it. Still our oldest for the box now. I'm happy to have it. All right, let's keep hunting. Let's see if we can find anything else fun. Okay, guys. Now we're sitting on roll number 27. And we have another wheat scent. This one looks a little bit newer. Let's see. Looking at a 1956 out of Denver. That's another one for our board. That puts us at about six for the box. It's heating up just a little bit. Now I do want to show, I did see something, a little different, a little wider rim back here. Ooh. 1942 Canadian. That's a, how was it, a King George IV. That's an older one. You don't see those a whole lot. We've already found four of the Canadians. A lot of them which are young heads, which are also an older style. 
So we'll cover those a little bit at the wrap up, but a KG4 is not a bad find. All right, let's keep hunting. See if there's anything else in this roll. And then see what else is in the box. I'll bring you back in when anything else shows up. Okay, guys. We're on roll number 34. And uh, I should say, I think this one might actually wind up upgrading our collection. We have a blazer of a wheat penny here. I don't want to touch it too much, but we do got to get it out of the stack there. And it's a little older. 1941. Well, this one we we'll definitely take a closer look at. Plenty of details, some postman damage, but plenty of mint luster left. Can I get mad at that one? I'm pretty sure that's going to upgrade our collection, but we'll find out at the end of the show, at the end of the video here. But just for the sake of it, there's a difference between the 41 and our 42. Holy cow! All right, definitely glad we found that one. Let's uh, see if we can find another one before we're done with this box. So that came from somewhere, maybe wherever it came from. There's more. So we're gonna find out. Let's see what we can do. Okay guys, next roll in, 35. And we've got another wheat scent. This one, 1945. From Philadelphia. That'll make the second one of those on this box. I still not, can't get too mad at that. And that makes eight for the box. And we still have 15 rolls left. So this box is starting to shape up to be a pretty decent box. Especially with that 1941 we had watching you. All right, I will uh, bring you back in if I find something else. Okay, guys, we're now on roll number 45, and we have a wheat scent number nine. This time it's still 1945, but this time out of Denver. That makes three from 45. This hunt alone. Still not gonna get mad at that. Let's make nine for the box. Let's see if we can make an even 10. That'd be a good number, I think. I'll tell you if I find anything else. If not, I'll see you at the wrap-up. Literally two coins later, I didn't see it. So I might have to go back and watch the video and see if I can find it. We've got another one. This time it's just 1957D. Which is how we started this hunt. Can't get mad at that. That makes 10 for the box. And 10 is a good number for hunting boxes of pennies. Anything more than that? turns into a really good box. All right, I'll keep looking. See if we can find anything else. Nothing else sneaking up on me here too close. All right, I'll bring you back in if I find anything else. Okay guys, that's a 50 rolls hunted and a pretty good box. We did have 10 wheat cents, five from the 50s and five from the 40s, including that stunner of 1941 Philadelphia. We also had two, 1970 from San Francisco a little beat up, but I still add them to my collection. And six 2009s. Again, these are a little bit beat up and definitely didn't upgrade in our collection. And that's okay. We also had seven Canadians. Three of the regular ones. Three young heads. And that one KG4. Can't get mad at that either. All right. I'm going to uh, break out my wheat scent album. So we can check this 1941 Philadelphia. And then I'll go through all of our nice copper scents and see if they upgrade our collection. There's also some 82 Denvers in there that we're gonna weigh up and check to see if they fill our holes that we need. All right, let me open this book up and see what our 1941 looks like. My 1941 looks like that. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. We're definitely replacing that one. And uh, it's a massive upgrade for this book. And there's not a whole lot that rival that one. There's a couple. I got a few in the 50s. But that one, definitely worth putting in the book. All right, let me plug that one in. And then I'll sort those and see where it stands.
I bring it back in as soon as I get that taken care of. I went through all of the uh, nicer coppers that we pulled out. And all of these are about the same of what we have in the book. So they get added to my little jar. That's coming along pretty nicely. All nice copper scents. That being said, there was two of a note. It's a 1963 Denver. That I think just a little bit upgrade. I don't like the little spots on the side of this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap that one out for it. And a 1973 Denver. Just a little bit more mint luster, a little bit more red on it. I'm gonna upgrade that one as well. All right, now I've got eight 1982 Denvers that we need to weigh up and see if any of them might actually fit or hold here. So let me take care of the two holes, I mean the two upgrades, and then we'll weigh those up and I'll bring you back in for a wrap up for those. Well guys, I weighed up all eight of them and these seven were all pretty bad looking copper. Those ones get thrown back into a roll and sent back to the bank. And this one is pretty nice looking copper. Which means it goes right there. Not a single one of those eight was a zinc. So none of them stand a chance of even filling that hole. So the hunt will continue. Looking for 1982 Denver zinc small date. Zinc large date. Sorry. Large date. Well. I look forward to hunting another box, see if we can fill that hole in the next one. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate all that y'all do. Please share with your friends if they think they might like it. And I look forward to sharing my next video with you soon.